Hey guys, welcome back to another Arc Dev Kit tutorial. So this is going to be a short little video that's just going to cover how to put in a biome into your map. Uh, what the biome will do is obviously give you your temperature and your temperature offset so that you can have it cold or warm in the biome. And it's also going to give the area a name so you won't just be running around in like an unknown region. It will actually be called beach or, you know, mountain or you can give everything a specific name if you want to. So to start off with, we're just going to go into our modes tab and do a search for biome. So we need the biome zone volume. Let's just drag that in and expand it a bit. And what we're going to do is just cover this little area of beach here. There we go. So let's just make it a bit taller. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is go into the settings here and let's give it a name. So we'll call it beach. And let's make it 1.5 times the rest of the temperature. And that's just a really simple way of changing the temperature quickly. That's going to make it 1.5 times hotter than everywhere else. Uh, and there's obviously plenty of other settings you can go through here. There's, you know, pre-offset multipliers and uh, different thresholds to do with the minimum and maximum temperature it can get to. So definitely have an experiment and play around with this. Uh, you can also change the amount that eggs are laid and prevent crops being grown. Uh, and of course, obviously, override the music that's played in the biome as well. So say you wanted to have specific music for daytime and nighttime in your swamp biome, you can do that in here uh, just by changing it and selecting a new music track. So the way that the arc devs on the island have made these biome specific shapes, uh, because obviously not everything is a square in the map and you might want a biome to only cover a specific, you know, strangely shaped area, is you basically just have to make multiple boxes and position them in the place you want and make them bigger and smaller and then you group them together so do that go up to our scene outliner select both of them right click and then click on group and that's just going to make it so both of them are controlled together and all the settings are copied between them and any adjustments we do to one will happen to the other whether it's moving around changing settings or you know obviously deleting them as well so i hope this video helped you guys out uh, if it did, of course, leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment of anything else you want to see. I'm trying to get around to do all the requests that people have made because obviously I'm doing these to help you guys make maps. So if you need to know something, then I'll obviously do my best to make a video about it as quickly as I can. But if there is anything else that you guys want to see, please leave a comment and I'll try and reply to it and help me out if I can or make a video on it. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.